Hi everyone, welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, this week we've been talking about integrity and this is, today is the last day. We talk about Malachi chapter 2 and verse 6. True instruction was in his mouth and nothing false was found on his lips. He walked with me in peace and uprightness and turned many from sin. These words are about the tribe of Levi tell us what an influence we can have when we have integrity. Integrity is when everything about us is in alignment. Levi's actions were both righteous and peaceful and they matched Levi's words. The Levites not only avoided being dishonest, they sought to help others understand the truth. Because the Levites' words and actions were aligned, people were drawn away from sin. Integrity is powerfully attractive. A lack of integrity turns people away. In Malachi's days, the priests, that is the Levites, needed this reminder. God was saying that if they wanted to see God's blessings again, they needed to live with integrity. Integrity would draw people to be like them. And more important, teaching the ways of God with integrity would realign them to God's will and God's favor. Mordecai also refused to kneel to Haman, the newly elevated and second most powerful official in Persia. Haman, we learn, was a descendant of Agag, an Amalekite king. And God declared the Amalekites his enemy long ago before he had attacked his people when they were weak and vulnerable in the desert. We also know that Mordecai was from the same clan as Saul, the first king of Israel. Mordecai refused to honor God's ancient enemies. Teach with integrity, seriousness, and soundness of speech. Christians today sometimes struggle with integrity, just as people did in Malachi's time. Sometimes we say the right things, but the way we live or the attitude we carry is not aligned with our words. Other times our behavior is good, but our words may be cruel and vulgar. Integrity would be impossible unless Jesus walks with us. Walking with the Lord is our only hope for aligning our words and actions. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this week. We thank you for teaching us about integrity. I pray, God, that even as we continue our walk in this world, no matter where we are, God, no matter what we do, help us to walk in integrity, to honor your name, and to see the fruit of integrity in our lives. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.